flowers are white, the berries are purple. Respect your elder berries, drink them every day. They will give you strength as you go upon your way. Elderberry is a native shrub that grows near wetlands, in vacant lots, by edges of fields, and along embankments. In late June, look for the edible flat clusters of creamy white flowers that resemble hundreds of dainty lace umbrellas. They have a subtle, musky scent. Fritters made from these clusters are a fun finger food. Sometimes the cluster is so big that I break it up into smaller ones, which makes it easier to dip and cook. To make them, hold each cluster by its stem, dip into a mix of one beaten egg or egg substitute and a small amount of milk or milk substitute. Dip the cluster into flour and fry in organic canola oil or butter till golden brown. Drain on a paper towel. Use the stem as a handle, but don't eat it. Individual flowers can be separated from their cluster and sprinkled into pancake mixes or on salads. They can also be dried and used as an herbal tea. One important warning, make sure that the flowers you collect are from the elder because this plant the deadly poisonous water hemlock often grows right near the elder and has similar white flower clusters. These are more delicate and smaller than those of the elder. Hemlock's smooth stem is streaked with purple. Elderberry is a shrub with distinctive warty lenticels on its stems. They have a white pith inside. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with water hemlock flower and leaves, which are on the left, with elder flower and leaves, which are on the right. If you're nervous about using the wrong plant, just wait until mid-August when the flowers develop into these dark purple berries. Since I don't like the taste of the fresh berries, I dry them. Remove their stems, place on parchment paper, and turn once a day to prevent mold. Put them into a glass jar, refrigerate, and use in recipes that call for raisins. Elderberry juice has been used as a remedy for colds and flu for over 200 years. Maybe that's why our ancestors drank elderberry wine. Those of you who are susceptible to flu-type germs might want to take a tablespoon of elderberry syrup like this one at the first sign of illness. It's helped my husband and me. Perhaps it can help you too. Let's listen to our elders. They have much to teach us. Respect yourself. Respect your